and then I'm going to pop up the sales listings on the screen right now so you can see just how much these little books are worth because the nine of these books might be half of the money we spent on the whole lot, honestly. All right, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Donna, say hi. Good morning. It is, we are very busy and we don't have a lot of time. So I just wanted to film because I have some cool sales going out and we wanted to show you. And this is like the announcement video for anybody local. $1 garage sale this Saturday, March 9th, 8 a.m. sharp. We don't let any early sales. We tape off the area at 8 a.m. We just let everybody in. There's usually like a dozen people here or so, but we don't let anybody in early. So 8 a.m. this Saturday, $1 garage sale. I did get through all 30 boxes from that buyout. So that is completely done. I'll show you an update on that in the kitchen. A lot of books and everything are for the garage sale. Um, some DVDs. Uh, and don't, don't think, if you're going to this garage sale, don't think, oh, they took all the good stuff and they left it's all just junk. It's not all junk. There are a lot of good things, good deals to be had for a dollar a piece. I'm telling you. There's name brands. It's a stuff. great time. There's sets. There's all kind of good stuff. So we have the garage closed right now. But if you look, there's one row, two row, three row, four row, five row. Five rows deep Four is seating. this. Floor to ceiling. And one, two, three, four, four rows over. Well, clothes go behind there. But then we have three racks of clothes here. She's working on a third one. All of this stuff, all these boxes and stuff, all garage sale. Back there, all garage sale. I've got from Smalls to 3X Women's. I've got Jeepers Creepers. Smalls to 4X Men's. Yeah. Um, so yeah. we're clearing all this off. This is all on dollar auction listed. We'll end tonight. We're clearing all this off because then what she does, takes all the tables, moves them all over. We'll have just like a little area back here we can get into, but move all the tables over to open up this whole area. Um, and something new this year is my friend Gina is going to be here with potted plants. She took my vintage planters, little planters, and she put succulents and different things in them. So they'll be here for individual prices. She will also have tons of baked goodies from pans full to individual and those will be individual prices as well. So those aren't $1 only, but you don't want to miss them because they're amazing. Yeah, so yeah, her specialty things will be individually priced. Everything else, $1 a piece. So um, it will be cold. When it opens, it'll be around 30 degrees. So dress warm, be ready to dig in the bins. Like if you've ever been to the Goodwill bins or the Amazon stores or whatever, where you have to dig, like literally most of these boxes and things, totes we pull out and line the driveway and line the sidewalk and people dig and find the treasures. It's, yes. we don't make it super easy. We don't have everything laid out for you on a store, like in a, like in a store, but there's buried treasure. I'm sure. <laughs> there's, yes. And bring bags, bring boxes, bring totes to put your stuff in. Um, Cause you'll want to take a lot of stuff home. <laughs> Yeah, we don't generally, we, that's what we put in the listings is to bring your own bags and boxes because it's hard to, I mean, that's so much stuff. It's hard to have enough bags to send people with bags on their way. So please do that if you're local and you're coming. And also the last couple of sales we had, we had like book resellers and they were sitting out in the driveway scanning books. There's a lot of books here and I don't sell on Amazon and I left a lot of books I don't enjoy whatever. So you know, if you're a local bookseller, come on down. I guarantee you'll find something. So yes. just lots of things, tons of stuff. Anything else about the garage sale, Donna? Share with your friends, grab your neighbor, bring them with you. Oh, also our neighbor Dan is going to have stuff on his garage or his driveway. He's going to set up and have a little garage sale too. So there will be other things to shop too across the street. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs. We're gonna pull the orders. There's like eight orders to ship out. And then I'll give you an update on the, the $700 buyout and I'll show you the progress on that. All right, somebody else brought more boxes. Thank you, Cindy. These boxes are full of boxes. 
and I will use them. All right, first thing I'm gonna grab is we sold two of the DVDs from this $700 buyout. And so I'm gonna grab those two DVDs. In the DVD cabinet here, I think, yeah, here's stuff that listed from there. And this Archie's one sold for $13.49 plus shipping. Uh, Archie's Fun House. And then this St. Val Valentine's Day Massacre DVD, that sold for $25 plus shipping. Next in box 75 is a pin that sold for $12.74. And this pin is a IOOF pin, International Order of, I don't remember what it is, but it's just these three rings, IOOF pin, and that's $12.74 right there. Oh, good news, you guys. You know what? We did our taxes and we actually get a little refund. And that's awesome. Like super excited about that. Um, and one thing we're going to do, we ain't going to do much. I try to be really cheap, right? My kids don't think so, but I try to be really cheap. But you know what we are going to do with a little bit of tax refund? We are going to get the dang lights and we are going to put lights all up down here to brighten this sucker up so we can film down here and it will be much better. Because honestly, that's the only reason I haven't done it yet. Number one, it's a project and I don't like projects. I have too many anyway. But number two, I just haven't wanted to spend the money. So we're going to do it. We're going to use part of our pack tax refund. We're going to light this place up. Next up, in box 38, there are two Home Co. wall decors. Where are they at? They're right here. These are, these are Amish boy and girl with ducks, foam decor, like from back in the day. And these sold for $10 plus shipping. I'm going to go back here all the way up to LH, way up there. And in here we have a bag full of. Holy cow, I don't know how much this weighs. Let's take a look. Some of it's falling off, but we're uh, about nine pounds. And what this is, this is all the old cell phones that we've gotten out of storage units, clean outs, whatever. There's iPhones, there's Motorola's, LG, flip phones. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So what we do with those, so what we do with those, we, we just keep gathering them. And then once we get a, you know, small box or small amount like this, then I put them on auction. So do a seven day auction with them. And I do them for parts or repair only. Um, just say they came out of storage units. And this is about the third or fourth time I've done this. And we got $31 for it. Obviously, if there's more Apple phones, you get more, more popular phones. But there wasn't a lot of Apple or, or uh, Samsung in here. So $31, though. I mean, what else are you going to do with them? Next up, box 31, way down here. All right, in here we have these red boxes here, I think. All right, this red fancy box has these little gold, they're heavy, kind of heavy, little gold pine cones. And there's a set of three of them in this box. And that sold for $20. And that came from a buyout. Next up, box 25. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I love it when it works out like that. We have another one of those Home Co. Uh, figures, statues. Let me get out of paper here. And there it is. It is a seal with a baby seal there. I hope that's showing up clearly. Really cool figure. It's one of the Home Co. masterpieces. Masterpiece Porcelain Endangered Species Harp Seals from 1998. So that's cool. That's going out for $24.99. And then in box 64, right down here, there is a... Where is that? Oh, it's right here. I put it in a bag, which surprises me. This is a Bushnell Golf. Um, it's a rangefinder case. So we found the rangefinder box and this was in there. 
it's empty the rangefinder wasn't in there but for golf but this still sold for 17 dollars brand new so that's going and then the last thing that sold you've seen this before it got bought it got returned because they didn't realize the size and so they didn't even open the package but they returned it so i relisted it a little cheaper i didn't even put it away yet here's the box it got returned in and it is this boohoo vintage shirt and i relisted it and i didn't put it away because i thought you know what i listed it a little cheaper and i thought it's gonna sell and it did we got an offer for 35 dollars which is less i don't remember what it sold for last time maybe 50 dollars i don't know but 35 dollars but i'll still take it i mean it was free it was given to us which was awesome it's going out again for a second time for 35 dollars and that's all i have to ship for right now we're going to go up take a look at the dining room and tell you where we're at with the 700 dollar buyout then we're going to say sayonara so we can get back to work all right and up in the dining room now i am taking over the dining room for a few weeks here i don't know how long but for a little while so with the garage sale that's all needs to be free for that the office we're redoing trying to get the bookshelves and everything uh we need to show you that too so there's not a lot of free space so what i did sorted all those boxes there was 30 boxes and i have literally 10 boxes that i'm keeping and listing on ebay there's one two three four five six seven we're gonna call that big toe seven um eight nine and then another box here and there's groceries back there on the counter don't mind our mess so we have 10 boxes and they're full of books and dvds there's a lot dude i don't think i kept anything that was under ten dollars so everything in here is ten dollars or over on ebay there are some things that are worth over ten dollars that i didn't keep partly because you know they maybe weren't in just perfect condition or they're big and i don't really want to ship them whatever but then again i'm going to show you this first thing that's big uh, so i just want to show you a couple things i have out here and the good news is, as I did this, when I found really expensive things, like the things I highlighted in the last videos that were like a $120 book or DVD, whatever, I didn't list those. As much as I wanted to, let's list this, it has a hundred, over 100% sell-through rate, whatever, I didn't list any of it, which I'm glad now because I just, I didn't separate it. So now as I go through boxes, it's not like I'm going to do all the good stuff first and then have all the lower price stuff. It's literally random and they'll just be in wherever, which will keep me motivated to keep listing, you know, to find that good stuff. It's not separated at all, except for one thing that is separated because it's going on first. It's not this. I just wanted to show you this. I didn't have room in a box for this. This is a massive Calvin and Hobbes, uh, the complete Calvin and Hobbes set. This thing weighs a ton. I think it's worth around 40 50 bucks something like that i will ship that out but man that thing is heavy so that's gonna get listed soon but then we found one one type of manga you call it ma manga manga i don't remember magna Ma manga i don't know uh anime let's call it anime and it's these gunsmith cats and so you read them backwards they open on the opposite end and we have this book this set of these thick ones there's four of that and then there's a little bit thinner set of five actually and you guys this right here this is good good money right here i'm going to pop up some comps i don't remember i'm thinking you know what i'm going to do i'm going to get these listed today and then i'm going to pop up the sales listings on the screen right now so you can see just how much these little books are worth because the nine of these books might be half of the money we spent on the whole lot honestly isn't that awesome would have been great if there was a whole bunch of this but there wasn't but i will take this for sure anytime i can get it all right let's go run upstairs check the office real quick i'll show you the progress we made there all right up here in the office just gonna show you the progress up here this is the bookshelves are in i don't know if we showed you this or not yet bookshelves are in i just had a stack in the garage that were listed so i just brought them up I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it donna put her trolls here but this troll is too tall and sitting down she doesn't seem to want to sit there so i'm not quite sure how we'll get her up there but 
yeah, we're going to have, there's our kid and his friend made a board game, a uh, card game. That's that. But we're going to, there is progress. We are getting there. All right, that's it. That's everything. That's garage sale. That's the office. That's the $700 buyout. That's the shipping. That's my wife. That's everything. There's <laughs> nothing more to show you today. But if you're local, come to the garage sale. Bundle up a little bit. It's going to be fun coming to the garage sale. Donna, do you have anything to add? Like and subscribe. Share Yay. with your friends. Yay. Yeah, we hit 1,300 subscribers the other day. That yes. was awesome. Yes. Yes. Uh, we are Happy Our Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.